DeSantis here, Dojo Live at GBTA 2024 in Atlanta. With me, I have Ben Alderman. Hi, Ben. Thanks so much for having me, Kim. Of Confirma. Did I say that right? You said it right. Confirma, yes, that's it. Yes, perfect. So first of all, thank you so much for taking your time out of this busy day, this busy conference to no join problem. us here on the show. You know, Ben, real quick, what is, this is your GBTA number? Two. Number two. And how long has it been or what brought you back to 2024? It's been six years. The last time I'm here, I'm pretty certain was 2018. Right. So, so, it's so there was a, a COVID while. break. <laughs> there was a bit of a COVID break. Yeah. And, uh, and, you know, I didn't come when I was based in the UK, but now I've been here. I'm very excited to be uh, to be back here for GBTA 24. All right. And anything in particular that brought you here? Yeah, uh, it, it, transparency, like, uh, you know, I started my new role with Confirma in uh, November of this year. Um, and travel and business travel is at the core of what we do. So what better place to be than GBTA to meet with existing partners, new partners, and everyone else and learn about the latest and greatest in business travel. Absolutely. So you've got over a decade, right, of experience yeah. in this space, and it's this fun mashup of fintech with travel hospitality tech. yeah yeah so tell us a little bit about your journey uh and this passion and and the ben story yeah uh, i'll try not to show uh how long i've been around too specifically but thanks for pointing that over out That's a decade, great. over a decade yeah there. over a decade is great i'll take that um you know it's it, it actually started I, uh, I i joined american express um on, on the card side of the business and I was in their undergraduate program and it actually started for a fortuitous event where I needed, they needed someone to cover some maternity leave. And that person looked after travel management companies on behalf of the card side of the business. So I was forcefully put my hand <laughs> up. Uh, and from there, um, I got immersed into, I was always interested in the finance side and that's how I ended up where I ended up. At, a, at obviously at a financial services company, but that immersed me very early into my career into travel management and specifically the payment side of travel management, which... Um, which probably I, isn't usually the most fun side for most people. You know what? It's, it's super interesting because uh, it's definitely complex and the most interesting to people like me, but I especially have some bias, obviously, I guess I'd say. <laughs> but yeah, that's, that, that's, how my, that's how my journey began, and that journey is... But, but you know, in the main stage speaker today, I think he said something, excuse the interruption, but he said something about the best people like the challenge, and the people who don't like the challenge are the lazy ones. So I guess that means... I'll take that. He's I'll the best, that. and I have the lazy... <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'll take that. That was, that was not intentional, but I, I guess I laid that one up to be here. So I'll that's, own it. I'll that's own great. It. That's great. Yeah, and then from there, I, I spent... Um, around a decade at American Express in various different roles. And there was always a travel payments element to all of them. Um, I then did a, 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 de a decent stint at Visa where I really cut my fintech mm -hmm. shops. I spent a lot of time dealing with all sorts of fintechs in, in B2B payments. Some of those travel related and quite frankly, some of those not, but that was great from a learning perspective in terms of looking at how payment flows in other industries. And then um, I spent a decent amount of time at Ramp and obviously, that's in travel and expense. Yeah. And now Confirma, which is firmly, firmly with travel at the core of everything I that we do. I love it. So I, it's a great segue. You made my job easy. He's done this before. <laughs> Let's talk about Confirma. Why are you? What's the problem that you're solving? What is the problem that Confirma is solving? Confirma solves um, an age-old issue in travel of managing uh, centrally built travel. And we do that in a seamless way through our huge network of over 500 TMCs, 75 issuing banks, and around 150 technology platforms. Wow. What does that mean? We look to make travel touch-free from a payments perspective. That is the problem, the big problem that we that we solve. Perfect. You know, and it's my understanding that you came here to GBTA to spotlight specifically a, a new product tool release snap plus is that right, right? yeah yeah so to to take that into like a traveler experience perspective we think about travel and especially the payments of travel as a pre-trip in-trip post-trip a lot of the industry knows us for our kind of pre-trip into in-trip what is that mm -hmm. that's using that huge network that i was just talking about 
to deploy virtual cars, right? We were the pioneers in this space to do that so that payment can be made. You can settle and check into that hotel, check out of that hotel, paid seamlessly, a um, uh, great experience for the traveler. What Snap Plus is actually the invoice reconciliation piece as well. Okay. So then we then retrieve and distribute those invoices that are associated with that. Sometimes for some travelers, that's very, very simple. But in complex use cases, especially things like guest travel, retrieving those invoices can be a real burden for mm -hmm. both TMCs and for corporates. We take that all on. So what does that or mean? Or even the traveler. Or even the traveler. Like, let exactly. me just pass this on to you. Give me your invoices with your expense report and the traveler will be like, oh. Exactly. You've nailed it. <laughs> Somewhere on the line, more often than not, there's annoyance and pain. We take that away. So what does it mean? Those three pillars that I was talking about, pre-trip, in-trip, and post-trip, creates a seamless flow all the way through where, going back to that point I raised at the very beginning, a touch-free experience for the traveler using our solution. I love it. With your solution, is there anything else that you'd like to kind of highlight or what you're up to? Yeah, we're up to a lot. We're up to a lot. We continue to um, improve and, and, and build the core of our business. Like anyone in the industry knows deployment of virtual cards and use of virtual cards is complex. And there's mm -hmm. um, a lot of things we do around things like acceptance and then the invoice matching piece mm -hmm. with Snap Plus. Also, when I was talking about that pre-trip, in-trip, and post-trip, one thing that I, I really like to talk about a lot, because some of our corporates and TMCs know about it and some of them don't, is our mobile app. We have a mobile app that supplements, which means that you can have that in-trip experience of, mm -hmm. if you need to, you can bring up the deployments you have, what car that is, what hotel you're going to. It has a map for that hotel within that mobile app to really make that uh, experience of traveling to, checking in, and checking out of that hotel mm -hmm. as simple as possible. Right, so it makes the behind the scenes easier in terms of the business side, but for the traveler, it's the UI, UX, the usability, it feels exactly. seamless. Exactly, exactly. And our mobile app is something that we, we, we talk about a lot, but can never talk about enough in terms of <laughs> making that experience seamless, not only to your point, mm -hmm. for um, travel managers and for finance teams, also for the traveler themselves. It's a really, really important piece. I love it. I love it. So I don't think I've asked you this yet, but we're at the final sort of hour, hour two, maybe, of yeah, the conference. Yeah, yeah. What, if everything you've heard, seen, talked about um, here, what would be sort of one of your biggest takeaways about the conference or just the industry yeah. as a whole? What what I, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and uh, take my payments hat off and not show too <laughs> much bias here to what gets me excited to commit to what the themes. But um, the theme for me is a presiding theme over... We seem to be making a bit of a quantum leap in technology. Now, that seems a bit lazy, but if I use examples, NDC is finally getting somewhere. We are looking at, there's been a lot of conversations in this conference around AI. I still think we have a way to go, but the application of AI in our industry is nearly boundless for me. But I love the fact that the industry is taking steps to protect travelers, corporates, security mm -hmm. and safety, especially mm -hmm. of data is primary first. Um, and then thirdly, another part of technology, you're suddenly seeing multiple partners bring together travel and expense again. It's funny, travel and expense was together decades ago and kind of got split apart. Hmm. We're really seeing travel and expense come back together again. Now that's my bias one because this is what we do where yeah. we think about travel and expense being one unified simple solution. Um, but I, I firmly believe in uh, a rising tide lifts all ships and that the fact that the whole industry is thinking about these multiple facets of technology now is, I really think we're going to see a quantum leap forward in, oh, in a traveler's experience. Is there a technology gap that you think exists? What's the biggest gap you see in the industry and what should we be prioritizing to make the business traveler experience even better? Yeah, yeah. The, the, so the, like I said, there's been, um, there has been some great progress and you can see some things, but the, the, the biggest gap I see from my perspective is that piece that I was talking about before, which is across the board, eliminating expenses. We spoke about this briefly before we were, we were talking here. 
the elimination of expenses by having a truly un, um, united and uniform program is something that every single traveler is crying out for. We're starting to see this, and you're starting to see it in point solutions, doing that in open networks mm -hmm. where clients can use, corporates and travelers can use the platforms they want to use across financial services, across booking tools, across their TMCs, across the source of uh, inventory that they want to use mm -hmm. is, I think, one of the biggest things we can solve in business travel because it's one of the biggest pain points. People hate expenses. Yep. They hate them. So yeah. being able to create uh, technologies and, and tie them up that tie up with company policy and has the controls that it needs and sends people down the right channels, but then eliminate all of those dead hours people spend the full Friday of every month generally <laughs> is is uh is still um uh, a gap we can overcome but it seems right. foreseeable it, yeah. it, it it's there it's not like intangible it, it's funny i'm listening to you and maybe this is going to sound really smart or really naive on my behalf but i was in a talk earlier today that had to do with sustainability mm -hmm. not what we're talking about right now but in how the regulations and the reporting and companies the travel managers are now having to worry about that figure out how they're going to do it and the simple reports they used to get aren't good enough uh and so what i'm hearing is we build out technology i think that might work on the expense side could still have you know the same build the same flow from like the reporting side and others yeah. just to make that seamless sort of unified yeah. one touch and sustainability should be should be part of that right and sustainability flows right the way from booking to post trip Mm -hmm. You know, so I think sustainability being a, a core theme within GBTA, which it has been for a while. And how to keep industry. it, like, more, make the sustainable choice, but have it also be the smart financial choice. Correct. Correct. And and, and that comes from um, data and openness. Yep. Right. That's, it's where it all comes from. It comes from, but it's not just Which is maybe data. one of those big technology gaps that really know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it's, 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 it's the, it's the age old meme of the diagram of Lego of how you organize data. <laughs> mm -hmm. The data is there in a big old pile. Mm -hmm. We need to be able to simply present it to people. Yeah. I love it. I love it. So final question as we wrap up today, the future of business travel, what's that for you in, in one word? Oh my gosh, the future of business travel in one word. Um, it can be two or three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to say seamless. Seamless. Okay. Seamless. All right. You yeah. want to elaborate a bit? Or you wanna... Yeah, I'm thinking just uh, the the end-to-end -end experience of business travel being a frictionless process where we continue to move towards consumer-grade experiences that are just seamless and you're not having to go back and forth to understand policy to understand mm -hmm. where you can and uh, can and can't use your payment credential how you reconcile and bring all that into the expense side of it like right from booking simple booking simple travel and then simple settlement is seamless i love it seamless all right well ben thank you so much i would wish you a thank great you so rest much, of your Kim. gpta but we've kind of come to I know. an end but uh, thank you so much for your time and hopefully we'll talk to you again soon thanks kim bye for now